how long will the solar panels take to pay for themselves? That's probably the biggest question apart from cost. So in this video, I'm going to try and go through that as, as good as I can. So when you get a quote for your solar panels, you get a little diagram or a little project sheet and it goes through how long it's going to take to pay for itself, how much it's expected that the solar panels will generate. Now we've got a, a meter here. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you the meter. We'll work out how much that energy would have cost us if we bought it. And then we'll have a look at the chart as well to see how far away it is from being correct. Please click on the heart if you haven't done already and also share so more people can see about solar panels, the truth behind solar panels. So, so far we've generated 7,354 kilowatt hours and that works out, we pay 27 pence per kilowatt hour. That's what we pay with Octopus Energy for the energy that we would buy. So that works out at £1,985 that would have cost us for our energy so far since January. So if we round that up to £2,000 just to make it so, they, so it's easier to work out with the numbers. So at the moment we've got about seven months, that's produced in seven months. So if we say, let's say 3,500, we would expect this now to produce for this full year. And the panels and the batteries in total cost 17,000 pound. And we do have a forecast on this, but that would work out about 4.8 years. So less than five years. That's at the current energy prices. We all know that energy prices are going up. So it might even be less. When we have a look on the chart that we've got, the estimated costs have changed so much. In, in year one, it were estimated that the price that we would pay for electricity would be 17 pence. And actually we're now paying 27, and obviously that's gonna go up to maybe 50p shortly. So that were, at year, at year nine, it were predicted that, that were, that's when it would be 27 pence. And it were also estimated that we would get paid 5.5 pence per kilowatt hour. Well, at the moment, because we're on the Octopus Agile tariff, um, you get paid more. So, as I say, we've been paid on average about 20 pence, but you can get, sometimes it goes all the way up to a pound. And what you've got to try and do with that is, if you wanted to be clever, you could fill your batteries up, which you would do anyway, your batteries would be full. And then when it's the most expensive energy, you could dump your batteries back to the grid, which would mean that you would get paid the most amount of money for the power at your batteries. So tips for me would be, get the biggest batteries that you can, or you can afford, um, and get the most solar panels that you can. Your installer will also have to apply for a DNO, so it'll depend what your district network will allow you to have. So obviously for me, I've had the biggest system that I'm allowed, um, and for me it works out, you know, works out really well. I'm really happy with it. If you do have any more questions, then please ask. I will give you honest answers. So I'm not trying to sell you solar panels. I don't install solar panels. So I have had hundreds, well, not hundreds, but probably I've had about 100 messages on me going quoting for, a so for solar panels. I do not sell solar panels. Don't message, don't message me asking me for solar panels because I don't sell solar panels. Um, but I will just give you my honest opinion as I go and once we come up to a year I'll do a full breakdown of costs how much we've got back in that year how much it's cost etc um, also um, I mean at the minute as I've said in previous videos my di direct debit has gone down now to £10 per month and we've just took all our credit off so I've just took another £500 off that we're running credit so for us at the minute it's working out really well what could change well what we get paid for the energy could change. So that could go back down. If energy prices go up, I would expect that it's more likely to go up. So that would mean that we would get paid more for the energy that we send back. Um, one of the questions is, well, what are you gonna do in winter? Well, in winter, we'll do what everybody else does. Worst case scenario, we'll use energy from grid and we'll just pay as normal. But hopefully throughout the year, will have made enough money to cover a lot of the costs of winter. So 
I, I, I sort of hope that this will cover 90% of our costs over here. Maybe, we'll see. But as I say, once it comes up to 12 months, I'll do a full video and I'll, I'll answer them questions. But if you have got any questions, just ask and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.